Okay, the first of the three scales that everybody should know is the major scale. I made a little picture. Hopefully, it will come out. Let's see if I can get that. Not glary. Take a look at that. You probably know it partially already. Let's take a look at how to play it. I'm going to be in the key of G. So let's. We got a middle finger, pinky, pointer finger, middle finger, pinky, chain strings, pointer finger, ring finger, pinky. That's our first octave. Our next octave, pointer finger, ring finger, pinky, middle finger, pinky, pointer finger, middle finger. So that one is great to know, obviously, it's the foundation of Western music, so it's good to know it. It also is a bit of a finger buster, so it's, it's, it's good for developing, really, your pinky. Now, the next scale is the sad cousin of the major scale, the minor scale. Let's see if we can get that one to not be glary. There's our minor scale. Let's take a look at that. We'll also do it in the key of G. This time, obviously, will be G minor. Um, so first octave, pointer finger, ring finger, pinky, pointer finger, ring finger, pinky, pointer finger, ring finger. So that's the foundational octave. second octave, pointer finger, pointer finger, ring finger, pointer finger, middle finger, pinky, pointer. This note right here is, is the bugger, because that's the one that's one fret out of position with everybody else. You could shift your whole hand around to that position. I don't really recommend doing that because it's, it's a lot more tempting to screw up that way and go and get lost. I just... That note, by the way, is awesome. So don't... Even in blues, you can use that note a lot in your... It's a great note. The, the third uh, foundational scale of all music is the blues scale. You probably know it already, but it does count. So let's take a look at it. I like to do my blues scale with all the extra notes in it, with the, uh, the flat five there and the flat five there, the, the blue note as it is called, because mine as well, instead of making it a pure pentatonic, let's, let's add that extra snakiness to it. So we got pointer finger, pinky, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pointer finger, ring finger, pointer finger, ring finger, hello, pinky, pointer finger, pinky, pointer finger, pinky. Having that extra flat five in there definitely makes the scale more interesting. And so to me, the reason these are the three scales that everybody needs to know is because songs are either major, minor, or bluesy, or some combination thereof. Every other mode or sound you're hearing is really just a variation of major minor or blues. There are no other parent scales that everything else is coming from. So that's why to me these scales, if you're only going to know three scales, they are the scales to know. Well I hope that is fun and interesting for you. Thanks so much for watching.